We're here in Paso Robles, which for a long time was a town that was, I think, primarily known as having a different climate as the other cities. Mm -hmm. Everybody says, well, that's a place where it gets hot in the summertime. Yeah. I think these days it's probably known more than anything else for the great wine. There's so many fantastic wineries in this area. So we wanted to spotlight one while we're here on the road. So one is kind of set apart by something other than wine. It's called Sculptera, and they have some amazing art there on the property. Visitors arriving at Sculptera are greeted by this, a massive bronze sculpture by Dale Evers called Mega Focus. It is awe-inspiring and the first of many larger-than-life pieces that will slow any wine lover's approach into the tasting room. You know, we really try to make art and wine come together because wine lovers love art and art lovers love wine. That's our, people always say, what's your business plan? That's it. Sculptera was developed out of Dr. Warren Frankel's love of art. He bought this land in 1979 and began growing pistachios. Years later, he met the man who would make the sculptures that would set his property apart. The late John Jagger had an eye for animals. He had little sculptures in his home, and he explained to us, oh, I, I can take a small sculpture and make it huge. This sculpture called White Puma is amazing, and the thing that makes it unique is it's all one piece. There are no seams. The whole thing weighs 10 tons. Complementing the wide variety of art pieces is a great variety of wine, and you can come check out the different vines from Pinot Noir, the grapes are growing here, Viognier, and on down. There are 12 different varietals that are grown here. We can do a lot with a lot of varieties here with the awesome climate that we get every year. Paul Frankel studied for his job as winemaker and vineyard manager at Cal Poly. His family entrusted the winemaking operation to him. The first vintage was 2005. I think initially we're known for the sculpture. People come out for the sculpture, but then they leave very satisfied with the wines. Paul's definitely brought the wines up to a, a level and a, and a status. That I think the wines speak for themselves. Sculptera makes just under 10,000 cases of wine a year. Frankel tastes every barrel and makes the blends himself, finding inspiration inside a blend of artistic and agricultural creativity that's tough to find anyplace else. The art, the wine, the land, and the community of Paso, it, it's, it's, it's a great place. And the community of Paso comes together this weekend for the big wine festival. Everybody's looking forward to that.